Right, so recently we've been visiting a variety of stadiums. Some new, some old, some no longer still standing. But today I thought I'd change it up a little bit and show you my most recent DH Gate purchase. I say recent, but I actually bought this over two months ago. After footy headlines leaked the photos of the New England Euro 2024 shirt, I thought to myself, I bet that's already on DH Bloody Gate. And it was. There was only one Salah at the time, so naturally, I bought it. Again, two months later, we're here. And if you've never heard of DH Gate, we've made loads of DH Gate videos. It's basically like a place where everyone goes for their knockoff football shirts. I say knockoff, but if you watch some of our previous videos, we found that a lot of these DH Gate shirts very closely resemble the originals, the ones you'd find in a club shop. Now, I'm not condoning the buying of fake football shirts. Disclaimer, Roy isn't in association with DH Gate. I'm merely doing this for observational purposes. And I'm intrigued because the, he the <laughs> footy headlines have released the photos for this. So I have no idea how they've managed to actually create a shirt out of it. Obviously they're creating a shirt behind the scenes, but the actual shirt I believe isn't supposed to be released until like April of this year. So will this compare to the real thing? And will this match the high standards DH Gate have set in our previous videos? Ladies and gents, stick the like, subscribe if you're new, and let's bloody find out, shall we? Let's go. Right guys, firstly I'd like to apologise for the absolute mess in what was Football Paradise HQ. We're going to be doing a complete revamp of the man cave, but it's an absolute bloody tip because I've been out on the road constantly and not had time to sort it out. So we are going to be, I'll get onto that at the end of the video. So if we just take a look at the packaging for this shirt, poking out of the packaging is the tag. Now, for those of you who are new to DHgate videos, you might be looking at that and thinking, Christ, double XL. Yeah, I know you're a, a chubby bugger, but I didn't realize you were that bloody chubby. Well, we always recommend at least one size up when you're buying shirts on DHgate. As you can see, they take great care, not only in the shirts, but generally speaking, they make the tags look like the real thing as well. Obviously, we don't know if that is the real thing because it's not been released yet, but, Good first impressions, kind of standard now with DH Gate. I've gone for two sizes up because I am, I've gained a bit of weight and my shirt seem to fit me really tightly. I think it's the shirt's fault, not my fault. Nothing to do with all the crap I'm eating. So let's take it out of the packaging, shall we? Let's move all this crap first. Two secs, guys. So here we go then. It's been that long that all this papery stuff comes in an actual Nike, Nike bag. Now it's been that long since I've ordered this shirt that I haven't even bothered. I, I should have got some pictures up of the footy headlines leak pictures so I could refresh my memory as to what this new shirt will look like. So this is going to be uh, interesting for me as well as you because I've not seen this yet. It looks really nice from what I can see on the camera. Look at that. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't have done it on this bloody dirty table. Um, but that is fantastic. Look at that, guys. I mean, it is a little bit creased in the packet, so we can't judge uh, just quite yet on... Yeah, that emblem looks fine. It looked a bit wonky, but I think it is a crease. You've got the detailing on the back of the neck. You've got what is kind of a multicoloured St. George's cross. They've got this, this thing going on, haven't they? They've got this red and blue kind of trim going on around the collar. This is actually a collar. It's a little collar. As you can see, you can lift it up. We all love a collar. Us 90s fanatics, us retro football collectors love a collar. That looks really nice. So if this is the actual genuine one that England will be wearing in Euro 2024, I'm very impressed. I'm going to put this on the table. Hopefully it doesn't get dirty. And let's do a few close-ups, shall we? Let's have a look. Okay then, guys. So I have got the collar flipped up, as you can see. Um, first impressions are good. I've seen a lot of leaks for next year's kits with the Nike swoosh go in like that way, almost like vertically. I think Liverpool's new one, it almost has like a, a double swoosh, but it, it goes that way. This is just standard swoosh. This does remind me of, what kit is it? It's one of the England kits from the mid to late 80s. 
I believe was it the 86 World Cup, I might be wrong. It does look like a bit of a throwback kit. One they maybe had under Admiral possi possibly. I might be talking absolute rubbish. I'm loving the trim. I do have a light on this camera. Let me just stick that on, guys. There we go. Bit of light in there. Nice red and blue trim. And the swoosh. That's a dark navy. You might not, yeah, you can see it on the camera. They've gone with a star, which obviously represents the 66 World Cup win in white. What are your opinions on that? Do you prefer it in gold or blue or red to pop out a little bit more? Now this underneath the arm is quite nice. We've got a nice trim. A lot of the England shirts in recent memory have been very white, apart from the most recent one, which obviously has the, the light bluish uh, thing going on around the neck and the sleeves. This is more classic and traditional, but I do love the fact that we've got the blue. It looks quite black on camera, but we've got the blue along the sides. Now, these are little details that are pretty good on DH Gate. I'm just seeing if the quality of that looks a bit iffy. I'm not sure if it does. That's some detailing. It looks a bit rough, actually. That might be my DH Gate supplier. I'm sure there are uh, new suppliers for this kit. Again, this was a couple of months ago I bought this, so he was the only one, or she was the only one, maybe it was a female, that was supplying it at the time. You've got the dry fit Nike detail in there, made in Thailand, blah, blah, blah. Let's flip it over, shall we? So there we have the back. By the way, this uh, shirt cost me, guys, I looked at my phone. Yes, this shirt only cost me 13 pounds and 67 pence. So plus postage, a couple of quid postage, let's say 16 all in. Now, if you were to buy this shirt, again, I'm guessing this would this would be equivalent to a fan version because of because of that. Yeah, that's embroidered on. So fan versions you normally got embroidered badge rather than heat press. So say that was a fan version, you'd be looking at like 70 quid, 60 quid. Uh probably a bit more than that actually. Yeah, say 70 quid. So a lot of money. Now I'm not again condoning DH Gate, but let's be honest, kit suppliers are ripping us off at the moment. So yeah, let's uh, try it on, shall we? Now again, before I do whip off this delightful Hereford United away shirt from the mid-90s, I just want to let you know as well that this uh, man cave, this shed, the Football Paradise HQ is going to go under a bit of a makeover. Now this Saturday, um, which should be the video that follows this video possibly, I don't know, a couple of videos time, you'll see it next week. We're going to be visiting a good friend of mine, his man cave, man cave mania. Now I'm going to be doing a kind of a little series where I feature collectors, um, their man caves, their collections, whether that's football shirts or Corinthian figures. You might have no noticed some of those in the background. So I'm looking forward to checking out his man cave, but I'm also going to use it as inspiration for my refurb. The reason I'm not cracked on, I'm going to be making um, a bit of a desk kind of studio area in the corner where we can kind of sit and do videos at in the corner, tidy the whole place up. The reason I'm not cracked on quite yet is, isn't just because I've been out the house doing all kinds of uh, stadium tours, but we, we, I just want to make sure that we're definitely going to be staying in this house because we are, uh, we are viewing a property later on today. So uh, we're not really, we weren't planning on moving, but um, a property's come up that looks quite appealing. So. Before I crack on with anything in here, I want to make sure that we are definitely here. Anyway guys, let me get off this delightful shirt and put on the England shirt. Let's go. Voila. First thing can I just say is absolutely Baltic in here. I am freezing, so apologies for the pokey nips. Hopefully they don't pierce this delightful new shirt. But speaking of pierce, speaking of, not Stuart, pierce, England, because this shirt is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me do a bit of a, a bit of a twirl. A bit of a Rick Flair, Rick Flair, Rick Flair style twirl. So there we go, guys. This apparently is going to be the New England shirt for Euro 2024. What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. Is it nothing like the actual shirt? Again, refer to those pictures on footy headlines. I'm going to put them on the screen right now. Take a look at those pictures, and I'll take a look at this. How close are we looking? Remember, this has got a collar. Eric Cantona would be happy if he was English. It's only a little collar, but I like it. This is double XL. Again, remember, I'm six foot tall exactly, weigh just under 15 stone. So you can kind of use that to 
base it on your own weight and height and stuff and I've gone for double XL so I suggest if you like your shirts a little bit looser fitting like me maybe you've got a great physique and you want it nice and tight for me I might have some gym equipment in the corner this is look at the dust on it it's not been used in bloody years I've not got any guns to fill the sleeves but if I did they would look fantastic because look at that trim oosh let's do one more Ric Flair Woo! Indeed. Woo indeed. This is a delightful shirt. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, gently tap the like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you tomorrow for a Newcastle St. James's Park tour. Sounds good. Check out my other videos to the side here. There we go. They're delightful. I'll see you in the next video.